All right, uh, let's look at the homework number uh, 1.4a, uh, number 2. All right, so function is given, it's 1 over x plus 3, and we want to find this uh, difference quotient. So let's go through that. We just have to do it one by one. So here. All right, so it's going to be a big fraction. All right, so let's do uh, f of uh, x plus delta x. So every time you see x, we're going to put x plus delta x. So you're going to have 1 over uh, x plus delta x uh, plus 3. Right? So that's f of x plus uh, delta x. Then minus f of x. So you subtract uh, exac exactly the original function, which is 1 over x plus 3. Then denominator is delta x, so we just put delta x there. All right. Then uh, we have to somehow simplify this expression. So we're going to try to find the common denominator of the top two fractions. All right. So uh, let's do that. So we still have delta x on the bottom, so I write that. All right, common de denominator. Easiest way to get the con common denominator is just multiply the denominators together. So why don't we do that? So you have uh, x plus delta x plus 3 times quantity x plus 3. So that will give us the common denominator. But we have to adjust it. Then you adjust the numerator. All right, since we multiply this denominator, by quantity x plus 3. We're going to do the same thing to the numerator, so it's going to be 1 times x uh, plus 3. So of course it's going to be x plus 3. Right? So that, that is equivalent to this first fraction. Then the sign is a minus sign, so we put the minus sign here. Right? Since we multiply x plus 3 by quantity x plus delta x plus 3, we're going to have to multiply the top by the same thing. So it's going to be x plus delta x plus 3. Right? Then you notice that uh, here you have uh, x right here, then minus x, so x minus x cancel out, and also 3 minus 3 cancel out. So what's left is going to be only negative delta x on the very top over you have x plus delta x plus 3 times quantity x plus 3. Right? Then we'll divide it by uh, delta x. So we can just divide the whole thing by delta x. All right? Then you can see that uh, there's a delta x on top and delta x on the bottom so you can cancel out. So you're going to get uh, negative 1 on top. So you're going to get uh, so negative 1 on top. And then uh, we can't really do much so we're going to have x plus delta x plus 3 times quantity x plus 3. Right? So this is the answer. Alright, so hopefully uh, this was clear.